hey y'all welcome back to my channel um this video is going to be a little bit of an update on um what i've been up to and everything this is going to be mostly a vlog but um i did want to give an intro just to talk a little bit about the experience so for me this was one of my biggest choices to kind of level up my life and get to a place physically um where I want to be so I don't necessarily want to turn my channel into a weight loss channel or into VSG my stuff is still about styling styling your life and so that's this is just a part of me styling my life and making sure that I'm the best I'm presenting myself as, as the best possible version of myself and that I'm totally happy with who I am and so for me this was a huge step first thing I would like to say is it's a, it's a journey like it's a lot to go that goes into um getting any kind of bariatric surgery it's a lot to go into it even though i've never really had any never had any serious health ailments but it's better to go ahead and nip a problem in the bud than to continue to let the problem persist um, and i kind of did a lot of this journey on my own um i mentioned it to people in my life just to kind of just to kind of see how people would react one thing about me is when i make up my mind that's it like you can't change my mind so when i did you know mention it to people or just to see what kind of reaction it was really to gauge where the people the people around me the people that are in my life what kind of mindset that they had you know i don't necessarily judge them as individuals for doing what like literally most people in everyone's life who've gotten bariatric surgery has done you know this is just a vlog this is gonna be a vlog of me you know in those moments so it's been a week last week this time i was in the hospital this was a pretty much a journey that i decided to take on my own and i didn't care who didn't like it and at the end of the day it didn't matter yes people there's people who um try to sort of discourage me you know in their own way they were trying to help but at the same time this is my life this is my body and it's just it's just it's just so crazy in any facet this is in particular what i've been up to and what i've been doing but you know it's so crazy how people will watch you be healthy they'll watch you be overweight they'll watch you be obese and severely obese and they don't have any issues they'll watch you drink alcohol they'll watch you you know eat fast food they'll watch you over consume and binge eat and don't say anything about it right there people are just as comfortable with you being the way you are and not changing for the better they're just as comfortable with it as you are and so you if you're waiting for people to give you permission to do what needs to be done in your life to make your life better you're never gonna get it when my mind is made up I'll tell you out of courtesy like for example my parents and stuff like that but I'm not going to my, my decision is made you know you know this is something it's a huge decision and i'm not saying that this is a solution for everyone um but personally for me i was not willing to go another year with being um with having my issues of weight not dealing with it you know i have the resources i have the ability i have the funds you know i have the capability to get this done and so there's no excuse right so and you have to work around it. i did most of this journey alone you know my sister was there i had people there so tons of my of people checked on me including people that really wasn't happy about me doing this right but that's why we have to move as people who are aggressive about making our lives better and getting to the place that we want to be. So with that being said, I will start with showing you guys early into like, I think I, the vlog starts the day before. Um, it starts the day before. No, actually, that was like a week prior. It was the day I went to my pre-admissions appointment. And so I had got a few, you know, they sent me home with 
um, a couple bags and stuff, my pre-admission to the hospital appointment, and then my other appointment. So, you know, it only took me about two months to get all of the appointments done and if you guys are interested just let me know in the comment section if you want to hear about anything specific um so that i can make individual videos so that you can actually get your answers and it's not anything glanced over like in this video but like it only took me about two months to get approved my insurance didn't have a time limit uh, my insurance didn't have it was mostly honestly the limits of the particular I went to Rex Bariatrics and so the things that they would approve so my stuff my um it took me about two months I think I started my first appointment let me see my consultation with my surgeon with the surgeon of my choosing was March 8th right my surgery was March 9th was May 19th last week Wednesday so March April May like um the whole process took me about two months and then you know once I finished everything they gave me my surgery date in less than two weeks so it took me a month like it took me a month and a half less than a month month less than two months and a half to get my surgery from the day of my first consultation and so I had actually went to Rex Bariatrics before but I did a medical weight loss program and that did not work that was two years ago and so by the time I got to this phase where I was like you know what one day I was like I'm gonna go I'm gonna get back gastric I'm gonna get bariatric surgery surgery I did wait until the last minute to actually pick which surgery I wanted so that they could submit it to my insurance because I was back and forth so much but I can talk about that in a different video so by the time it got to February I was like nope I'm not gonna wait on my own merits anymore and it takes a lot of honesty to level up so you know but I'm not in I'm not in pain. I don't take any of those medications. I don't I don't do any of that pretty much. Like my incisions, oh, they're itching so bad because they're healing. Um I'm able to drink a lot of my liquids and stuff. I love water. Plain old crisp cool water. So I have no issue with doing that. The protein shakes freaking suck. So I don't get protein as much as I need to. But next week, um, the end of next week, I should go, I should be moving to my pureed food stage. And that's when I'm going to shine, okay? So I'll worry <laughs> about getting more protein in when I can start reintroducing food in, sta in stages, of course. So... I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to know any other details, just put it in the comment section and I can make separate videos about it, you know, later. Go ahead and do that. I don't plan on, I'ma still keep my regular, a lot of my regular self-help topics and stuff like that, leveling up topics, but I am gonna incorporate this because this is um, something that may help women because a lot of women um, are, overweight and unhappy with themselves and we really have to get to or whatever your issue is right my issue is this right now and so whatever your issue is you have to understand that you don't need permission from anyone to change your life so i have two goodie bags it's coming wednesday so less than a week away i have my surgery so i went today to my last my fourth and last nutrition class and then i also had my pre-admissions appointment with the hospital so i'm getting my surgery through rex bariatrics let's see what's in this bag so this is they gave me a little practice i don't know what this what is this thing calls what else so they Put they said I'm in this program called I forgot E is some acronym E A R A something but it's a rapid recovery type of program. Um, so they gave me these Insure pre-surgery drinks. It says it's a clear carbohydrate drink. 
um 50 grams of carbs that's a lot but it's they he they said it's for the nurse said that it was for um um like rapid recovery to i guess rapidly get better after anesthesia i guess to for the effects of anesthesia to wear off i had two of these and with these i have to take one drink one the night before surgery so i'll have to drink this tuesday night and then drink the other one the morning of surgery and this one and it has to be i have to be finished with it three hours prior to surgery so but i've never heard i've watched a ton and ton and ton of videos and research about this and i've never seen anyone say anything about this so that was interesting oh and then the last thing that's in here is this cleaner um so i don't have to use my own dial like when i got my endoscopy but i have to wipe myself down take a shower wipe myself down with this and this is my supplements bag so they gave me this mixer cup was which was actually five dollars i hate blender cups and then i had to purchase my calcium bike oh my god this is a big bag this thing is heavy they kind of taste like now and laters or starburst or something like that so these are really good and it tastes like candy <laughs> this was 35.95 for this bag of 90 soft shoes calcium citrate this is just like a drink i'll have to figure out how to make this i guess kind of like a it's a protein drink there is this my the watermelon multivitamins and vitamins and a lot of people say that this was nasty but i actually prefer this over the other ones and this oh my God, so i am putting on my gown i just got to the hospital and they called me back fairly quickly so i'm entering into the pre-op phase and so i just i'm switching into my hospital gown i hate these things and these gorgeous socks and then they'll probably start putting in my IV, probably make me take a pregnancy test, and then I will see y'all after surgery. So now I'm just waiting and waiting. So this is gonna be a waiting game. It's about nine, almost 10 o'clock now, a.m. And so they just rub my stomach down with something and then um, I put on the hospital gown and everything. So now I'll wait for my IV and the rest of the prep situation. And so I'm excited um, that hopefully this is gonna be a huge part of my level up and I can finally get the body that I want. And I hope my recovery and everything runs smoothly and it's great. My sister is waiting downstairs. My little cousin is at my house um and so she might stay with me for a weekend and then i'll have like a nurse come in so that I, so i should be getting discharged tomorrow at noon and then i probably won't see you guys maybe tonight ish depending on how i feel and then i should definitely see you tomorrow mm -hmm. so i'm out of surgery what time did my surgery end mm -hmm. what time did i get out of surgery let me see. It's five. It started. I went in a little bit early. You got out. They, okay. You was at one, around 1.15, 1 1.20. Okay. They, the anesthesiologist came out and talked to you. Okay. So yeah. I went in a little earlier than I was supposed to. Right. Which was good. I'm talking to my camera. I'm not in excruciating pain or anything, but I, I feel like exhausted and loopy from the medicine and also I'm trying to set water. I took a decent sized lap around to go ahead and get walking. I got these compression things on my legs. It's like tightening in my legs. When I first got out, I was in and some pain i'm not 100 percent now obviously but it's more like being uncomfortable than anything else i'm just kind of uncomfortable i don't know if it's gas i don't know if it's the actual incisions that's a different pain and i don't really feel that 
also my period came on in the middle of surgery <laughs> um which is weird i don't know why my, my period is scheduled to come on today anyway honestly but it could have came on at any time and i when i got in this morning i told the nurse i said i my period may come on but i really wasn't expecting it to come on and yeah apparently it came on when i was under anesthesia that's like and then one of the nurse's assistants said the last three women she had for bariatrics their periods came on so that was hilarious my sister is over here eating candy in my face one of my favorite candies which is high chew mm, it smells so good Girl, I won't be eating candy no time soon. I'll eat my um my bariatric calcium chews. They taste like candy. Oh, okay, there you go. It smells so good. Oops, I'm covering up the camera like a crazy person. I'm not trying to eat candy. This just, just smelling it is satisfying. And it's so weird, Kena. It's real. I don't know. I just be eating. Maybe I eat some baby notes, but it's crazy. It got real fruit in it. Um, but I love high shoes. Honestly, I have a hunger sensation that's really weird. I'm really, since I got up, it's like a, I wouldn't dare. I don't really, I'm too scared to try to put anything in me but water. I might try to, she offered the crystal light. So I might try that later, but. I'll just bring up a small cup of both and see how you like the taste of them, man. One of each. Yeah. Sip. Mm -hmm. That's what she said, so I'll try that. I'm just gonna end this video with saying that, you know, I, at no point did I have any regrets. It's been just a week and I've already lost like 12 pounds. So I know that ultimately, you know, I have to get adjusted to this new body. I'm, you know, I'm no longer in much pain. Like I did too much, I'm redoing my balcony. So I was out shopping all day yesterday and I did like too much. I was gone all morning um, from like, like 10.30 to 2 p.m. And I was like, and I was too much and my side start, started hurting. So I'm not at 100% after a week, of course, but I'm not, in, I'm not in pain. I don't take any of those medications. I don't, I don't do any of that pretty much. Like my incisions, oh, they're itching so bad because they're healing. Um, I'm able to drink a lot of my liquids and stuff. I love water, plain old crisp, cool water. So I have no issue with doing that. The protein shakes freaking suck. So I don't get protein as much as I need to, but next week, um, the end of next week, I should go, I should be moving to my pureed food stage. And that's when I'm a shot. So I'll worry. <laughs> about getting more protein in when I can start reintroducing food in, sta in stages, of course. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to know any other details, just put it in the comment section and I can make separate videos about it you know later whatever your issue is you have to understand that you don't need permission from anyone to change your life and if you're waiting for that you're not going to get it you might as well go ahead and decide for yourself so listen i hope you all enjoyed this video and i will see you all in the next one